Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, know that I appreciate it. It is Thursday, August 30th, 2018, and it is a beautiful day. Nope, the sun's not up yet. At all is the sun up yet? Um, but it's 6:38 in the morning, and I am headed to work. I thank God that I have a job. I am so very grateful to be employed. Regardless to how ready I am to 100% be self-sufficient as far as income is concerned. What are you feeling out? As far as income is concerned, uh, I am grateful to be employed. After being unemployed for several years, to have the steady income is a blessing. Um, especially when you're not self employed when you're not 100% uh, an entrepreneur. And although I want that for myself, before, as I think I've said in a previous, a previous video, I've been there before, and it's a lot of responsibility, um, and it's a beautiful thing to work for yourself, for your clients, it's a beautiful thing, but I'm not ready for uh, the full-on responsibility that it takes to work for myself. Uh, I'm almost there, but not quite. There's still a couple more things that I need to do before I should say a couple, a few more things that I need to do before um, I get there. Oh, excuse me. And I am close. Close. I was looking for my chapstick. I don't see it. I don't feel it, I should say. Really, all that I wear is chapstick. Unless I put my hands on something else. Here it is. That's the blessed oil. Um, but I usually only wear chapstick because lipstick, although I love it. I think it's really very pretty and I think it does a lot. I forgot my vitamins. And I think it does a lot to enhance your natural beauty. Um, unless you get the kind that stays lipstick throughout the day, wears off. And I don't like the kind that stays, meaning the stains. I should not have come this way. The stains because it's hard to get them off. And I just don't have that kind of patience. I won't say time because I can take the time at the end of the night and do, wow. And um, and do that. I can take, well, are you going or not? I can take the time at the end of the night to do it. That's not the issue. It's just I don't have the patience because after a while, it's like it should not take this long to remove the makeup. Which is one of the reasons why I don't really wear a lot of makeup or any makeup unless, you know, it's a special. I don't even own uh, makeup right now. In Chicago, I did. Right now, I don't even own. 
but it just takes a, a long time to get on. It takes a long time to get off, especially when you're doing a full face. So unless it's a special occasion, I don't wear makeup. I used to have some kind of gloss or something on my lips all the time because of my bottom lip. I wore one because I wanted it to make me prettier. Um, I liked it, but two because I used to try to hide my bottom lip because I have a tendency and have for years um, to bite my bottom lip and to, you know, when the skin peels on your lip. I don't know what other people do, but I tend to, before it's ready, peel it completely off. And that left my lip in such a state that it became really unattractive to me. And um, I used to try to hide it. And then the other part of that is my uncle, my mother's brother, has a similar lip. But I knew that he smoked cigarettes. I knew that he smoked weed. I knew that he did other things. Um, and I always equated that lip to fact that he smoked different things. So I hated the fact that my lip looked like his. But then I realized that it came from me biting this, you know, removing the skin from my lip when the skin would peel. Because it was uh, dry Like I said, I do my best to look presentable and clean. Um, but at the same time, that surface stuff doesn't really... Oh, this radio's been on the whole time. I'm so sorry. Um, that surface stuff doesn't mean a whole lot to me. So... I don't do it. Oh, pardon me. I don't do it. I remember being like 13, 14, 15, uh, wanting to wear makeup and eyeliner and all of that stuff because my friends were wearing it. Once I got into like sixth and seventh grade, you know, my friends, my classmates were wearing makeup, whether it was lipstick or eyeliner. And um, my freshman year at 14, you know, if I'm, well, yeah, almost 15, you know, I still had, you know, freshmen coming in around me that were wearing makeup and then there were girls that were in full face you know and I so wanted to wear it at 13 and 14 and a little bit at 15 like when I first got to high school but I got to a point where I was like you know what that's just too much you know that's just a whole lot and and that's just not me I I don't believe in did I leave it at work? Um, but yeah, I used to wear, I used to want it, and I just, I, like, oh, that's too much. This chick has on a full face, face, you know, powder and everything. And the other part of that is my grandmother would not go anywhere without makeup, even to the grocery store. She would sit and put on her face before she went to the grocery store. And I did not understand that. My grandmother was a beautiful woman without her makeup. She will put on a full face to go to the grocery store. She'd amp it up to go 
I won't say a full face. Like she would do lipstick and um, a little bit of found or pressed powder or foundation. One or the other. She wouldn't do both. But to go to work, she would put on a full face to go bowling. She put on a full face to go um, to the bank. She put on a full face. And I was like, that's a lot. I would sit and watch her. I would sit and watch her as a child and as an adult even I would sit and watch her do this and I'm like that's just too much it's too much and especially for someone who doesn't need it like most of the girls that I went to high school with did not need it but because they were allowed to wear it they did they would put on a full freaking face and I was one of those where I knew I didn't need it. So, I'm not doing it. I'm not spending that time and that energy on something I don't even need. So, I would do a little gloss, a little colored gloss. Um, or some lipstick and leave it at that. I would leave it at that. Every once in a while, I would put on a face. If I was going out, I put on a face. But other than that, I wasn't doing it. It was just too much. You're asking too much if you want me to do that. Um, special occasions like my 40th birthday party, when I did a full birthday party, um, I did a full face for one of my class reunions I did a full face um, I actually had a makeup artist do my face for that because I wanted my face to complement my dress um, I have a very multicolored dress and I wanted my makeup to complement that I didn't want all of those colors but I wanted one color from the dress on my face to, actually it was on my eyes to highlight um, the dress and brighten up my face a little bit so so yeah other than that I don't really wear makeup or lipstick or anything um, I probably should go buy some because I'm sure at some point I will have a special occasion but I did not bother um, when we moved here it wasn't a priority for me so today's word of wisdom be okay with who you are as you are if you don't love you as you are, how can you expect anyone else to? How can you expect anyone else to love you as you are if you don't even love you as you are? It's okay to wear makeup. It's okay to put on extra hair. It's okay to um, wear certain clothing that enhances your natural beauty. It's okay to do those things. I'm not saying that it isn't, but understand that when you don't have on the makeup, when you don't have on the extra hair, when you don't have on the really expensive clothing that you think makes you look better, you're still a beautiful being. You're still wonderful. You're still amazing. You're still awesome. You're still handsome. So with that, as you can see, I'm at work. Peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.